Chabot joins us and she is the executive director of the Seward Museum. Brand new event with us this morning, Auburn's First Friday. Yes. Tell us all about it. We're so excited to start launching First Friday in downtown Auburn and it's a way to bring visitors and locals alike downtown for a variety of events, uh, arts, entertainment, music. So how and why was the idea hatched? What, what brought you to this point? Sure, it's the Auburn Historic Sites Commission along with Auburn BID, Business Improvement District, and we wanted to find a way to just bring people downtown yeah. to see everything that, that we have to offer in downtown Auburn, okay. really trying to revitalize the community. And so the different sites got together, different businesses, and on the first Friday of each month, starting with July the 1st, this Friday coming up, uh, from 5 to 8 p.m., various sites and locations will be open. There's art, there's music, everything's free, refreshments, and so we're just inviting people to come downtown. Is this something that other cities have done in the past or do now? Absolutely. It's a concept that you'll see all across the United States. Lots in of larger cities. Yeah. Lots of communities do First Friday events, again, as a way to attract people to come downtown. Let's and talk about the art. Uh, what are some of the pieces of art that will be at the sites? We have some examples sure. here. Sure. We brought some examples today at the Seward House Museum uh, we're having a young photographer his name is Ian Malloy he just graduated from Auburn High School so we're really excited to be able to highlight a young local artist and you have one of his photographs oh here my goodness, it's beautiful. lovely view of you the should lake. have submitted that to the uh, to the uh, to storm the team photo calendar, uh, calendar contest yes. we'll have to talk to him maybe next year very nice that is. Where will this be located? This will, be, this will be at the Seward House okay. Museum in our gift shop area. We also have live music that evening. A local folk musician from Canandaigua, Jim Clare, will be on hand to provide music. Are there certain pieces that are going to be at, in other words, are certain sites going to have certain themes? It's not, it's not really themed. In the future, you know, we may decide on the first Friday of certain months to do a theme. Right. Um, it's, it, that's not happening this month. Okay. So different sites have different types of artists. Gotcha. Now, Billy, I see over here we have an experience downtown right here in Auburn. Are we going to see a lot of Auburn artwork? Yes, you are. Um, this is going to be at the downtown bid offices. This is uh, Tom Hussey. He does cityscapes, uh, oil paintings, and this is an example of his work. And it's a cityscape of downtown Auburn showing the iconic Genesee beer sign. I was just going to say, yeah. Now, uh, we talked about how the event is free and you're mm -hmm. welcoming people down. Do you need any volunteers for the event to help out for this event or even the future events in the, in the future? <laughs> well, the sites include the Seward House Museum, the Cayuga Museum of Art and History, and the Case Lab and the Schweinfurth Museum and the downtown bid. All those, all those sites and attractions, we all use visitor, uh, volunteers. So we're always in need of volunteers to help out with events like this. This sounds awesome. fantastic. Absolutely. And for more information, is there a website that people can go to? Yes, people can uh, contact um, the, the Auburn Tourism Department. They can contact each one of the sites. So the Seward House, the Schweinfurth Museum, uh, the bid offices, the Cayuga Museum, for more information. Wonderful. Well, it starts this Friday from 5 to 8 p.m. And again, it's free. It sounds fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thanks for having me on. All right, you Thank bet. You. All right, coming up next on Bridge Street, you had a chance to talk with a, a celebrity about smiling. I sure did. We're doing a lot of that next. Stay tuned.